Today, I got an awesome episode for you guys. Uh, this is one of the best charting tools I've been able to develop, and you get it for free right here, right now. Um, in order to let everybody know, in order to let YouTube know uh, that we have such an amazing video going on right now, I need everybody on this channel that's live on the air with me, I need you to hit that thumbs up button uh, and like this video. What that does is that tells YouTube that we have a big group of people here in this channel and it lets all of our other community members know that are looking through different videos. I want as many people online to hear this message because it's once in a lifetime, guys. Bitcoin just moved today and this strategy I have will show you guys how you can predict the future, how Bitcoin predicts the future, and most importantly, how you will be able to make some money. All right, uh, first things first. I wanted to look at this chart real quick. What we're looking at right now, this is a coinmarketcap.com, and what it shows from January 1st, 2017 to May 30th, 2017, this is the percentage of money inside all cryptocurrencies, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Dash, Monero, anything, all of them. The first of the year, January 1st, Bitcoin was about 88%. That's a huge dominance, right? But when we look over time, Bitcoin's dominance is getting less and less and less until today when, and even down here, you have Ripple, you know, that jumped up ahead of Ethereum for a little bit and they switched back. So what you can see is the smaller capped coins, uh, and by smaller cap, I mean a billion plus dollars, uh, uh, mainly Ethereum, uh, Ripple, Litecoin has a couple hundred million in it, these smaller cap coins are getting a lot more money uh, than Bitcoin is a lot faster. And so it's not necessarily that Bitcoin is losing money. It's just more so that these smaller uh, altcoins are gaining a lot more a lot faster. Do I think Bitcoin is not going to be king anymore and Ethereum is going to take over? Of course not. But it is good to know what's happening inside the market so we can plan accordingly. If you remember on one of the first videos we did together, I said that uh, the uh, cryptocurrencies was like a beating heart and, and that you know each heartbeat was a, a contraction uh, and when it contracts one side uh, relaxes and the other side tightens. And that's what you see. It's not really any loss at all. It's just that while Bitcoin is going down, the big altcoins are going up. And that's one that we touched on a few videos ago when we talked about Dash. Dash has been sleeping for a little bit, but now it's ready to wake up. So when these altcoins are moving, it's, it's a big opportunity. Uh, and that's what we're gonna go over today. When do we know how these opportunities happen? Um, when, when can we see, how can we predict the future? Well, BK got his crystal ball out and, and he's going to show you right now. So this is our chart. We are on tradingview.com. If you don't follow me on tradingview, uh, uh, it's a link in the description for you. We got a community on there. I put a lot of different charts out, you guys, every other day. So make sure you get on there. Uh, so, so you can stay up to date. Uh, tradingview.com, this cart chart is Coinbase. This is the opening and closing prices for Bitcoin, uh, the entire market, how it responded over the past couple days. And we can see this is uh, the Bitcoin quote bubble, what people refer to as a bubble. It really wasn't a bubble at all. It was just a blip on the radar where the market contracted a little bit and has since, you know, um, progressed. But we see we have a lot of different things going on and I got these symbols up here uh, and, and they'll they'll help get us through this to really understand what this chart is telling us. What do we want to look at first? Well, when we look at any chart, we want to get a general direction of it. We had a big uptrend over there, but it was going up for a long time, right? So that that we don't want to really check that out right now. So we'll just move that 
you know, down there for right now. We just know it was going up before it went down, right? Um, so if we zoom in a little bit, we can get a little bit more idea of what's happened most recently. And so right now, Bitcoin is in a downtrend. And so how do we chart this? What should we do? In the first couple videos, we tell you guys the easiest way to get a good idea of the runway. Remember, I'm, I'm going to start using these keywords now. So let me type that one out. Uh, this is what I call the runway. And that's more or less where the channel is that a crypto lives in. I call that the runway because it needs to take off and land inside of this channel in order to exist. The easiest way we do that is this is actually the line right here. And let me extend it out a little bit so you guys can see. We go high to high. So this thing drops right on top of this chart. Right there. And it takes you from one side, one high to the other. See that? High to high. And right now we're making our runway. So we'll put that there. And maybe we can, let's see if we can circle this thing. Yeah, rectangle. High to high, right? Cool. All right. High to high. And that gives us the top of our runway. But we need to know the bottom as well. And so in order to do that, we do low to low. And um, one of the guys, uh, it looks like Gypsy Tree, just typed in the chat that the screen was blurry. I know it was for about 10 seconds there when I crossed over everything. So uh, just throw, throw a chat. Uh, and chat message at me and let me make sure that you know you guys can see everything. So to find the bottom of this runway, all we do, copy paste, command C, command V, throw it right up there at the bottom, and we can see that for the most part, Bitcoin has lived in this zone right here. See that? And what I like to do is I actually like to uh zoom in a little bit. I don't, I don't like to go off the extremes. I like to get as close as I can to that lowest candle to where it just nicks through the top of it. Even up there is probably a little bit too high. You know, I want to get right up on it. That way I know, um, you know, this is a legit line. It's basically like a part of that chart. Cool. All right. Um, so we got our first runway, right? We got our major runway, right? And this one we'll call um, the bubble runway because that's when Bitcoin lost everything, right? That's when people were saying, oh my God, Bitcoin's going to go down then. $1,200, what do we do? We need to sell everything. I told you it was a Ponzi scheme. That's when people started talking crazy. You know, everybody everybody got an opinion, you know, when when uh, things things started to get, the, get a little funny. So that's our bubble runway. But look at this right here. It looks like uh, we, we bounced, right? Something, something happened, something changed. So what changed? How do we know? Uh, well, it's real easy, guys. First things first, we look at our top line and see that that actually intersects our DEMA, right? Uh, DEMA is a exponential uh, moving average. Uh, I think it's directional. I forget what the D is, but EMA is exponential moving average. And, and that orange one is a, is a special moving average that I've developed, which really 
shows it's one of the best moving averages for any cryptocurrency I've found. And when the cryptocurrency goes above it, it's normally pretty good. If it's below it, I call it underwater. That's why that anchor is right there, because it's underwater. It's like heavy. It can't break through. It's too heavy, you know? And, and it's really hard uh, to, get, to get over it, right? So it's a, it's a big magnitude, a big momentum shift. And so what we do here is we look at this, and this is our line right here. So all we, all we do, this is low to low. You'll see in a minute. We'll extend that out for right now. And this is our line. You see those two little points right there? That's where they fit, low to low. See? And what does that do? First of all, that confirms that point of inflection right there as the anchor that the, it was held up under that DEMA, remember? And it makes this a pretty important point down here. This is our bounce point. That area right there where the purple meets the yellow. And I call that our pivot point. And that's when I use this guy. Because it turned over, it was going down. Now it went up and it rolled that line. And the only thing we did to get that line was we drew a straight line from low to low. So you guys can see it's, it's not rocket science here. We go high to high to get this one. And then we go low to low to get the purple one. But what can we do once we have low to low? Well, we need the top of the runway. And we'll call this our bounce runway. If you remember, I made, uh, we did a video called the Bitcoin bounce. Remember that? And so, uh, hmm. so we will have two runways. Um, one is the bubble runway, and one will be the bounce runway. Cool? Hey you guys see that? We good with everything? Uh, if you got any questions real quick, I am checking that chat, so you know, make sure you throw them in there. I got a couple people you know, looking at that for me. So low to low, just to confirm the channel and make sure we know uh, where we're going and how everything is coming together. And we move this guy up to our high point of the channel, which looks like it's right about there. And because we want to center around this part, and this is a channel in itself, and this is, this is where it gets interesting, because what I just showed right here is that that line right there, we could do this in a dotted line. This is what I actually do too. Um, my dotted lines, I make a little bit lighter and uh, they're normally going to be in the center. It's like a center line almost. And just so you guys can see it, I'll leave it light. So that's my center line almost, but you see it's still significant. Um, any significant, uh, line on a chart will have a couple points of intersection. They say all you need is three candles to make a trend line. And right now we got like 12 different candles on that one line, but it's not that significant for us right now. What is, is that DEMA. And so what I want to do is I want to copy and paste the top of the runway and pair it up with that DEMA because I know that that already was very important once, so more than likely, it's gonna be very important again because history repeats itself. You get order from chaos. This whole you know evolution of the universe theory, everything is universally connected. All I know is there are certain points in time when a decision has to be made, and that's what I show with these charts. This right here is a decision point, and that's why I prefer to use lightning strikes because essentially when everything comes together, you ever hear um, when all when all the things lined up, when you got all your ducks in a row, um, dotted your I's, crossed your T's, whatever people say, more or less when everything comes together, magic happens. Um, it doesn't happen a lot, 
But when it does happen, it's significant and you can tell. And that's more or less what our uh, channels, our runways and the DEMA, when they intersect, when that orange line crosses one of those runways, boom, something's about to happen. Lightning's about to strike. This thing is about to make a move. And we see it did, right? So this, it was living in that purple channel. It was living in the bounce runway uh, for quite a while. You guys see that? It was here, you know, for a few days, just hanging out, going up, going down, going up, going down. You notice um, when it went down, it followed that uh, bubble runway pretty good, but it got to the bottom and it was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I kind of like the bounce runway. I'm going to hang out here a little bit. Uh, but it started to run out of steam and it ran out of steam and now it fell out. It fell out. What happened? How do we, how do, you know, how, how could we know? that was going to happen. Well, I'll tell you exactly how we know. I told you, you have to look for the lightning strike. We have to figure out where the lightning is going to strike. They say you can't predict it. I'm here to tell you you can't. And this is exactly how. Copy and paste it and match it up to the DEMA. And now all we do is we replicate our other line and we will make this one dotted just so we know move our dotted line to that intersection that lightning strike and look at that now we have a new channel that bitcoin is riding all the way down you guys see that? So it literally matches on both sides. It's like that quote, as above, so below. Uh, floors become ceilings, ceilings become floors. Um, you know, you get into some tricky stuff the more you think about, think about it. But that's the top, that's the bottom. And it all it is is history repeating itself. So, you know, the, the title of this video is How to Predict the Future. How would we know that was going to happen? Well, this is how you know right there. You match the historical lineup to that DEMA, you find where lightning strikes, and you could have known exactly where Bitcoin was going to break down, and you even know the angle that it's fallen. Now, guess what? We could copy and paste that one. We have our new channel right now that we're running in. This isn't going to be a very long channel. You see, over time, they get narrower and narrower and narrower, which means we're losing magnitude in this channel, but it's still significant. But all the while, we're creating a new channel somewhere. So the minute this one doesn't work anymore, it's a new one that created that does, right? Um, and when that one uh, happens, you know, we'll be able to draw another line and, and figure out the relationship. But one of the things I wanted to show you guys is this, this, this tool, this charting tool. And, and right now, if, if you like what you see, what, I, what I'll ask from you is if you can hit that thumbs up button right now, it, it really uh, lets YouTube know that you guys are still watching, you know, you're still engaged. This is actually a really, really cool tool uh, for you all to use and make some money with and it lets the rest of the members of the community the other people subscribe to this channel It tells them like hey, this video is really cool. You need to come click on watch it because we're not done yet We're not done yet. The best is yet to come and so uh, What I want to do is is run through the chat for a couple questions, and then I'll, I'll wrap this up for you guys Dodgecoin um, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not necessarily a big fan of Dogecoin. I think it is. That's one with the little dog. Um, I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. To be honest, uh, one of the questions is what is my opinion of Dogecoin? And I'm not a fan. I'm you know if it doesn't make it, it doesn't have any value outside of being like a silly you know meme that somebody made on the internet and now they're making a crypto coin around it so I, I wouldn't invest in that for the long term you might be able to make some money in the future but i don't even waste my time charting it because it has no real intrinsic value uh ethereum has value zcash has value bitcoin obviously has some technological benefit to society dogecoin i doubt it um so a lot of those coins that you know are up and coming uh maybe night probably won't even be here 
uh, 10 years from now. Bitcoin will definitely be here 10 years from now. I am not saying that Bitcoin is going to crash. What I'm saying is that Bitcoin, I'm saying this little bit of decline that we saw is history repeating itself. That's all I'm saying is because that, that angle, this line that it's, it's going down on right now is the exact same line it went down at over there, you know? All I'm showing you guys is that history repeats itself. So whenever it happens, you can backtrack to when it happened before. We might not have noticed it before because it was still, you know, relatively close. The price, you know, was was close to what it was. We was like, oh, it pulled back. Oh, they got more bulls in the market. No, 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 no. The channel changed. So now we notice it, right? Um, now this is a pivot point. This is another pivot point up here. So now the market, oh boy, now the market takes notice of it. Whereas before it was just living in a channel. It, it hadn't really pivoted. But now that thing right there, once it breaks out of there, once that DEMA crosses, that's a pivot point, right? Once our DEMA crosses, that's a pivot point. Lightning strikes. So I'm not saying Bitcoin is going to crash. It most certainly is not anytime soon. What I'm saying is when uh, Bitcoin goes down, it's normally predictable and we can figure out why and we can figure out when and we can figure out how, right? So last thing I wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> this is pretty cool. We have this channel, this bounce runway. We know, and I'll clean this up a little bit because those lines are getting kind of confusing. Uh, we know this bounce runway is significant, and we know that because the channel already worked, right? If, if this bounce runway was not uh, a good line, then none of this would have happened, you know? It just wouldn't have worked out like that. So what I want to do is show you guys that when you, when you find a set of lines that works like this, that it bounced from the bottom, goes to the top, bounce from the bottom again, then we can do something with that. This is what we can do. We can copy and paste it. And let's try to find another point. Where else does this DEMA cross at? Right there. You see that? Right there, our orange line crosses the red, crosses the green. That's another big point right there. Another big point. What do we do? Let's do this. Let's make that an arrow, wrong way. Let's make this an arrow and let's say, okay, that was our pivot point. What we want to do now, and yeah, Jada, this one's for you. You told us, it's funny, Jada Johnson is a, a, a big member of our community and she actually said that the sound was out. I was not aware. So this is the second time we're doing this video tonight um, because Jada let us know, I didn't, I didn't want you guys to have 20 minutes of silence um, you know, on this, on this kind of chart. This is actually a really, really cool thing. I'm glad you got back on uh, and, and you're able to see it again. So this is, what we do we find out where that dema crossed we go up to the most meaningful point which is the intersection of our trend line and our bounce channel line and look what happens it's pretty cool we scale out a little bit and over time we can see that this line was pretty significant. And also, I don't know why it didn't work that time. Where do we go? Oh, I missed the line completely. Yeah, it's like right there. So we throw that down and we can see that over time, this thing held all the way down it might have been a little bit off right there, all the way down. And at the end of the day, it crossed 
all of those lines right there at the intersection of the DEMA. So long story short, our moving averages, that orange line is very important, very important. And we can allow Bitcoin to repeat itself just by copying and pasting other lines on top of the high points to help us figure out how everything is coming together. And when we throw that with our moving averages, it's a beautiful thing. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, Bitcoin can predict the future. All you got to do is draw the right lines and let it be so. If you got, thought this video was helpful, make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe it. We do new videos every day, so turn on your notifications. As you can see, it might be a good night. It might be a good morning. Uh, but hopefully it's a great market for you wherever you're at in the world. Throw them uh, questions in the comments. I want, I want to keep it engaging. Also, uh, one quick thing. I had a few people say that they wanted uh, to set up like, you know, uh, Skype meetings uh, to allow me to look over their portfolio and, and help them make some money one on one. What I have here, and I will put this in the chat uh, for you guys. What I have here is a... Um, Eventbrite page. What it does is it allows you to schedule time with me. Um, it's a lot of people that, that want to try to meet it and I want it to be fair to everybody. So what it does, you, you click on this little website here. Um, it's called How to Make Money, Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, uh, and all the rest. And you click on this website and it takes you to a uh, ticket purchase page. You click on the day, you say what day you will be available. You click on tickets, pick what you want. I have a June report where top 10 uh, cryptocurrencies I'm releasing to you guys. These currencies made me a lot of money and uh, it will do pretty well for you, I would imagine as well. And also private consultation. This is the big thing. If you want to get one-on-one -on -one time with me, you go to this website, you pay $25. That serves as a deposit. The full price is 0 0.03. Bitcoin an hour, that's about 50 or 60 bucks given the market. We'll talk about your portfolio, how much you have, how much you want to make, how fast you want to make it, you know, and I'll be able to put together a few, few solid picks for you uh, to help you make some money. Um, I'm not really selling this at all. It's really just the extra option for people. I know, you know, one person sent me a screenshot. They had a couple thousand dollars on Poloniex and they asked me about some trades. So this is what I sent back to them. Uh, just to be fair with everybody, anybody watching this video, if you're interested uh, to have a private consultation, this is how you do it. And the link will be in the description as well. Uh, with that being said, I appreciate all you guys' time this evening. Again, set your notifications. We do a new video every day. Uh, we're about one week old, you guys. We already got 700 members from all over the world. It's really an amazing community. I'm glad to have you in it. I'm glad to be a part of it. Uh, I will continue to make these videos. Get in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, we got some awesome things coming up. Look forward to talking with you, and you have a great day.